if I was in charge of this pandemic, I would have locked this thing down in about a week because I'm built different. And I'm gonna prove that to you all by playing Plague Inc. But in this version of Plague Inc, we're not supposed to oof the world. We're supposed to save it. I'm not gonna go into this with any situation directors, no empathy trainers, no chaos engineers. I don't need anyone's help because I already know what I'm doing. It's going to be my job here to save the world from Spanish Flu 2. They've come out with a sequel to the Spanish Flu and I've heard it slaps. Can you save the world? A new plague is spreading undetected. You need to stop it, take control, lead the global response, and protect humanity from the deadly pandemic. We gotta pick which country we want to base our HQ out of. I don't know exactly uh, what I'm doing, but I would assume you'd probably want to be somewhere in the middle of the map. That probably has nothing to do with it here. Normally in the base game, they basically just separate countries as developed and less developed or arid or hot climate and wet climate. I don't know why, but it just feels natural to put it in Germany, especially because we're going to be fighting the Spanish flu too. We should be close to Spain, even though the Spanish flu was not, a, you, you, you know. So first we gotta figure out how this thing's gonna work, what uh, sort of mutations it has. It's like I'm playing against some creation that I've already done playing the base game in Plague Inc. I always made sure everything I did gave people diarrhea, cause that's just the worst. So the game is telling me to start funding to investigate an outbreak since we know the Spanish flu 2 is somewhere out there. Discovering a disease will give initiative to slow the spread and develop a vaccine. So we're gonna set up teams. I probably don't start off with very much funding because nobody cares about us, at least in the very beginning. And the spread has already begun and it's in South America first. I guess it actually started in Central America. Experts say that a lethal pandemic is on the way. And look at that historical accuracy. It's kind of starting first in the Spanish colonies. Look at that. I need to stop making references to Spain because it doesn't it doesn't make sense. So right now people are just being infected down here and it doesn't look like anyone has been oofed just yet. I can force a target country to shut down their borders for at least a month. Can I force an entire continent though? Well, I can at least put them on alert. South America on alert. Wow, immediately it has already crossed the Atlantic to South Africa, Australia, and even Britain. All right, so this thing, well, whatever we're dealing with, extremely contagious. So I guess we're not gonna be able to just lock this thing down to one country. That was like pretty much job number one. I could have had this game beat already. We can actually dive a little bit deeper into each country and look at exactly how many people have been investigated total population we have to send teams there for research purposes and that is exactly what i'm going to do so it looks like some place here between bolivia chile and argentina what were they doing they were just having a party across the border so we're sending in our little blue plane that's how you know things are going to get crazy who flies in a blue plane so argentina slash south america i guess chile is not a thing in this world sorry chile it's probably an alternative universe you don't want to be a part of anyways business is as usual so far obviously a lot of people are healthy but we have at least a hundred thousand infected so and it is oofing people, but not in a crazy high rate. I'm gonna assume this thing's gonna mutate or evolve and it's gonna get worse. It's already a lot of recoveries too. So at the moment, it's just Latin America that's really spreading from, although it is in other continents. I'm not gonna warn them yet. Maybe I should, but I'm not gonna do that. I gotta spend my resources properly. At this point, I can shut down airports, navies, and like land borders between South American countries, but I mean, at this point, I think it's just gonna spread everywhere, whatever I do. Time to distribute some bleach for free. That can't backfire at all, I'm sure. The Spanish flu was just the start. The real problem Problem was the bleach drinking epidemic. A vaccine offers the best chance of stopping it, so we should probably start doing that. It will take a long time and should be started as soon as possible. Oh, thank you for telling me. Okay, we're gonna start funding this guy and I mean, I don't even know what how do we fund it? We don't know anything about this thing. Uh, the other problem will be the vaccine manufacturing as well as the field research. So apparently it first started in Central America, but it's really been hurting a lot down here. You typically want to send your research for the vaccine to the origin country. Glad that I read that window. Normally I don't read that stuff. I would have been kind of in trouble. I wouldn't have known the origin country of this thing. All right, so it's finally hit the US and I'm wondering if we can see where it's being transmitted. If we can make a prediction on like how fast it spreads in the hot or cold. It hasn't got to the cold countries yet. Like Russia, the Nordics, Canada is still fine, but that might be just because of where it started. It's really spreading fast because of the UK, so thank you, United Kingdom. Look, you're sending planes to all different continents, bro. Come on. I'm gonna lock this motherfucker down. Yeah, we're gonna stop those uh, that air travel and maybe close sea access. Apparently, fatality rate isn't too bad, and neither is infection rate at the same time. I know I can't piss off the public or else they won't trust me and they won't listen to me anymore, so that's the problem. How y'all getting sick in the middle of the Amazon? Who's out here in the middle of the Amazon just spreading? that thing. Most of Brazil's population density is all on the coast. This might be that secret city of Z in here. Millions of people just chilling in the Amazon we don't even know about. So right now we have the entire world taking action. Most of the world though in South America. We're now finally starting to see some action. We have Arabia getting in on this. Oh, Colombia also has begun disinfecting urban areas and Peru is issuing pandemic alerts. Don't freak out guys. Don't freak out. It's gonna be fine. I have this under control. Let's go ahead and do some contact tracing and maybe some border managing. First of all, just doing PPE pack 
package one is going to bring that scale down a little bit. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring that way down. We're gonna slow down this spread by a bunch and then I'm just gonna keep on investing in vaccine stuff because I've got a lot of resources that I still need to spend on. So this is not a fun one. It looks like from the research, this is about 4.5% fatality rate. Daily infections is 200,000 and um, it's yeah not good. The origin country actually might have started in Argentina, but it told me Central America. Many countries are reporting widespread outbreak. Stop the spread to avoid it. Yeah, um, we're a little too late with that. We probably just need to get a vaccine out, honestly. Spanish flu 2 has infected more people than TB. All right, that's cool. Thank you. 9% done with the research. Yep, I'm putting all my money into that vaccine, baby. I keep seeing little explosions on the map. Bam, right there. What is that? People are completely ignoring lockdown and quarantine measures. Fund economic easing initiatives or disable quarantine measures to reduce non-compliance. Gonna keep on just bringing those rates down slowly by investing in this stuff. There's not too much else I can do with the vaccine, at least at the moment. Oh, so these people are rioting. I see. So that yellow is like... Yeah, we ain't listening to you. Argentina overwhelmed by Spanish flu too. All right, they need some help in Argentina, I guess. We're gonna deploy the medical students, stop partying, and get out into the battlefield. You know we're really starting to take this seriously when we send in the mean hot Cheeto girl from high school in as your nurse. If you've never come across a mean nurse that was probably, like, popular in high school, it's a good thing. You, you probably don't visit medical facilities that often. You know who's doing pretty good right now? Russia and the countries in Africa around the Sahara Desert. Maybe the bacteria is having problems in the desert? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's doing good in Australia, although not that good. Remember, Australia was like one of the first places it made it to. It actually looks like it's hitting New Zealand harder, but that might be because it's just a smaller country. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the world leaders. We're definitely gonna talk to one from Korea, because he's actually doing pretty good in this situation. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he is the one red dot that got it up here. Time to start wearing the masks. Here we go. So we're recommending this worldwide, so it's definitely not going to be spreading it uh, as fast if there's compliance. That's the problem. People are completely ignoring lockdown, especially in Iceland. Well, you know what? Luckily for Iceland, it's a little island. You know what, Iceland? You can do whatever you want. We'll just lock you down from the rest of the world and it's gonna be fine. Oh, Europe, um, Eastern Europe, they're really not enjoying this. Yeah, my authority is taking a hit every day. Infected people are panicking. Fun response initiatives and lockdowns to reduce, uh, okay. Okay, well, it's kind of everywhere now, so it's kind of difficult to tell every single continent, uh, to lock down. The problem is, doing that is only gonna make people, uh, more angry with me. I think. Argentina shuts down the internet. Okay, you didn't have to shut down the internet, Argentina. What the hell was that for? Well, they're screwed. Their economy's done. Imagine just going through this without the internet. Oh, I'm sure this black that's growing probably isn't a good thing, huh? All right, I need everyone to calm down. We're 23% of the way, almost 25% of the way to the vaccine. Boom, there we go, 28. Everyone just chill. My authority is in pain, though. Oh, you can see the compliance risk. Okay, we gotta, uh, not. Okay, okay. Just, if you want to travel, go for it, buddy. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit better. We're back up to 39. It was at like 20 for a second there. Regular medical treatment is being ignored or uh, deprioritized during the pandemic. Doctors warn that there could have long-term consequences. What do you even know about this thing? I mean, right now it's, uh, whoa, it's going up. It was at 4% before, now it's at almost 14%. Basically, the Spanish flu 2 is causing large swaths of infected tissue uh, to become giant. All right, that's lovely. Luckily, people have obvious symptoms, so maybe it's something like sneezing or something. The skin becomes a rash. Oh, man, so these people are becoming like zombies almost. Oh, actually, the way you end up getting oofed is from internal hemorrhaging. That is not a fun way to go. I thought we were just dealing with like a, a flu. Okay, I'm gonna end all the lockdowns just so that people like don't dislike me anymore. I think I'm gonna have a problem getting funds now, though. Like I said, I'm gonna go with the original strategy of just going all in with my vaccine production. It's kind of too bad that they use a very similar blue to the tiles that I have versus the tiles that I don't have. So I'm very confused about that. Ooh, look at this. We could start doing some censorship. Censorship to restrict communications to prevent public criticism of disease control strategy. Oh, uh, I don't think I want to mess with that, actually. I just got people back on my side, kind of. And we're going to boost unemployment benefits. I probably should have done that from the very beginning. What happens if my HQ gets uh, destroyed? Because I have I have my base in Germany. Right now, it's business as usual. It doesn't look too bad, but I mean, the map looks really bad. So basically, this thing is going to be spreading left and right since I removed all the lockdown things. Oh, so there's a green bar that's now showing up. So it's showing people that have recovered. Do we know if they're immune yet? Is that a part of this? So since it started here first, um, it's, that's the only place in the world that is showing this. 25% recovered, but it's also in total anarchy. Hmm. 
Is that bad? Well, it's just South America. Most of the world forgets about South America anyways. Ooh, it is starting to hit India hard too. All right, so two of the most populated places on Earth, China and India, they're getting it bad. Probably want to reduce fatality rate by creating new infrastructure. So I've won over a lot of people because I'm doing more like adjusting to the new norm, doing like uh, unemployment benefits and stuff like that. Although it looks like my authority is still kind of low. Don't matter because that vaccine is coming. We're at like 50% as long as we can make it till 66 days. But don't we have to va uh, mass manufacture it too? I haven't got that locked in yet, but all right. That's like one of the most costliest things I can do. It takes 28 resources. I only got 20. Now, if I've learned anything about this game, it's that you can infect Greenland, but it, it happened. I failed at the most basic thing or, or like Cuba or Madagascar. This is a lot harder than it looks. All right, bam, that vaccine is ready to be pumped out. So Argentina is almost all the way through it. I mean, they've been in total anarchy for a couple months and everything seems to be on fire, but besides that, it's going great. Last thing they did is lift lockdown. So all right, bam, and it's done. Let's go. Now we have to just do production, which we're already 61% of the way there. Vaccine manufacturing ahead of schedule because we was doing it in the background the whole time. Let's go. Early preparations for mass production significantly accelerated. Yep, let's go. I got this, baby. I got you, world. India looks way worse than it actually is. It's only 6% that people are having trouble. Not too bad. The streets still look good. Everything's not on fire. Authority close to a collapse. Uh-oh, that actually is my only problem. Even though... I made the vaccine. It's almost coming out to everybody. What are you mad about? Take immediate action, otherwise you will be fired. Oh, I don't want to be fired. It's down to four. Uh-oh, two. It's down to one. I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm immediately fired. The world has had enough of your incompetent management. Bro, I, I got the... Right there. How are you gonna fire me like that? I did everything mostly right, I think. I mean, I didn't really know what I was doing, but that was accurate. Look how fast it was spreading. M maybe that's why they overall got mad at me because I just took a huge L in the very beginning. I mean, it started pretty quickly, and uh, and then and then I didn't stop. I should have stopped it in South America alone. Once it got out of South America, I was screwed. I don't even know where it started. Central and South, there they must have just been having a party amongst each other. Yeah, by 50 days in, it, it had gone worldwide. What was I gonna do with that? That point started like really revolting fatality rate only ended up being 10% so I did lower it a little bit I guess you can accidentally have it go higher or lower depending on if if hospitals are overwhelmed or something it's gonna go up dang and this was only a bacteria there could have been way worse things out there could have been having to fight the zombie disease I mean I don't know what people were complaining about there was still 6 billion people healthy whoa 300 million were infected I didn't know that I wasn't really paying attention to that that much 300 million also recovered though you know what history will look back on me in a fond way though because they'll be like, hey, he sucked in the moment, but a couple years down the line, eh, you know, he probably did a good enough job. There was also virus, parasite, fungus, so basically all the other things in base game. Disease X. That's probably the zombie one. How would you even stop that? Let me know if you want to see more from this game. And if you didn't see from the main channel, I'm actually selling these pull and ball plushies. This is an awesome winged Hazar pull and ball here to tell you he's not going to be intimidated by his neighbors anymore. We're selling these for a limited time. This is going to be the only time ever that you can get a hold of these, as well as I plan to bring more country ball plushies in the future. So this is going to be the only time you can get a hold of Poland. And you know, he's kind of the main star of the show. You need this one. So you can head over to makeship.com for that, or you can look at the link down below in the description or the main channel. It's it's everywhere. As always, big thanks to the patrons. I'm about a nut. Zephy, Thick Boy 3000, The Glen Council, Bowling Like Stalin, Stormtrooper 501, Scotty from Marketing, Patrick C, Palantino 1013, Manny Manny 74, Mac, M203 Brush, Luxembourg Lover, Fusion Wolf, Epi Nick, Elijah Senpai, Dalton D, Arian After Hours, Annie Key, and Aaron F.